Hello, you are watching Anesthesia Tools. I am Dr. Sanish, welcoming you to this episode where we explore some myths about pain. Do you believe pain has only negative aspects? Can we consider it in some positive aspects as a blessing, at least in some senses? The International Association for the Study of Pain describes pain as an unpleasant sensory and emotional experience associated with actual or potential tissue damage or described in terms of such damage. If you happen to think of pain as an undesirable, useless and objectionable sensation, you make a good candidate to pursue the following discussion. Everyone agrees that vision is very important as one recognizes the misery of loss of vision. So is the case with hearing, speech, touch, etc. Then why do we have this painful discrimination against pain? Imagine a scenario when one cannot appreciate pain. Would you be able to withdraw your hand when it is hurt by a nail? Would you notice an abscess or pus collection in some part of your body? Would you feel when you get a cut injury on your body? These are only a few examples where the painful sensation of pain sends signals to warn you against potential further harm. It helps you to avoid injury or make you notice the threat or disease so that you can get the remedy in time. In fact, the loss of sensation of pain is not just an imagination. Some unfortunate children are born with congenital absence of pain, which means that they don't have pain sensation right from the time of birth. In patients with this disorder, cognition and sensation are otherwise normal. They can feel discriminative touch and there are no detectable physical abnormalities. Children with this condition often suffer oral cavity damage both in and around the oral cavity such as biting of the tip of the tongue or fractures to bone. Unnoticed infections and corneal damage due to foreign objects in the eye are also seen. As the child cannot feel pain, they may not respond to these problems, thus being at a higher risk of more severe diseases than otherwise. It is suggested that human awareness of painful stimuli is an evolutionary necessity to avoid injury and death. Luckily, congenital insensitivity to pain is very rare. However, one cannot ignore the very common medical conditions described as neuropathies emerging as complications of modern-day epidemics like diabetes. The typical glove and stocking pattern of neuropathies handicaps patients with blunting of sensations including pain. This, in fact, opens the floodgates of disabilities eventually threatening the limb and even life. Another scenario would be a cancerous growth. Those with pain right from the initial stages would get noticed earlier and very likely be cured. On the other hand, those with insidious onset without pain usually go unnoticed and eventually progress to a fatal outcome. Thus, the pain is also a good friend or a blessing. Truly speaking, it is the unpleasantness of pain which turns into a blessing as one will not bear with it and would tend to respond to it very quickly. Let us discuss regarding the negative aspects of pain like in cases of cancer pain and neuropathic pain where the persistent pain sensation is noxious and not easily treatable. This type of pain is truly undesirable as it refuses to disappear after giving the warning signals. The promising subspeciality of pain and palliative care medicine now offers resourceful management of chronic pain including cancer pain. The absence of pain sensation as we discussed before is produced by a specific gene mutation of SCN9A. Therefore, it is quite possible that if you could block SCN9A in a person with intractable pain 
you should be able to completely block all their pain without any side effect that matters. The fact that this genetic mutation could be used to help people who are in excruciating pain is quite exciting. Our spiritual masters guide us to accept pain and sufferings as divine blessings. It means the more we accept it, quicker it resolves. Pain is more superficial, but the sufferings are much deeper. When we accept it, slowly power of tolerance increases. We are no more divergent in our reactions to such a situation. This acceptance mentality insulates us more and more. The most effective tool to create such a mentality can be brought out through the process of meditation. This is the spiritual message in pain. This is also the basis of holistic approach to the pain management. Anesthesiologist, a specialist doctors dealing with acute pain as arising out of surgery or chronic pain as in case of cancers and neuropathies. Conquering pain is the greatest challenge in day-to-day -day practice. The commonly perceived facet of unwarranted pain should definitely be treated. Anesthesiology not only aims to alleviate pain but also makes the surgical experience a comfortable and a relaxed one. So pain has got multiple dimensions as a blessing as well as an obnoxious one, just as there are no roses without thorns. Thanks a lot to my co-panelists, Dr. Dohit Date, Dr. Shibo Ayepen, Dr. Nigel Kuriakos, and camera person Sijo Sam. Until we meet next time with another episode of Anesthesia Tools, it's goodbye from Sanish.